Hey there y'all, I'm Avery. Today I've got another grocery haul for y'all. This is from HEB and Whole Foods and it's for two people, myself and my boyfriend, for one week. And we don't follow any specific diet, but we do try to eat healthy. We don't count calories or anything like that, but we just try and get a lot of vegetables and as much whole food as we can. So I hope you enjoy and get some ideas and let me show you what we got. So here's what we got from HEB this week. Starting over here, I'm excited about this. So if you've been watching, you know that we have been trying to eat more seafood and I wanted to try something different. So this week I got, this is a bag of mussels and these are clams. And we are gonna make a seafood white wine pasta tonight with these and I'm really excited. Make sure that you ask them to give you the clams that are closed. Uh, Cause I noticed some were open and you don't wanna get them open cause that means they've already died. Some ground pork, we're gonna use those to make a meatball soup. Guacamole, we either put that on our salads or lately I've just been eating some cheese with a side of that and it's really good. And then Parmesan, so I know a lot of people really swear by getting the really good Parmesan, but it's just too expensive for me. And honestly, I don't notice that much of a difference. So I've just been buying this cheap one and it's been working fine. So we've got that Colby Jack. So this week we're gonna have huevos rancheros as our vegetarian meal. We've been trying to do one vegetarian me meal a week. And so Colby Jack is kind of maybe sound a little bit odd for that. I think normally you would just use normal Monterey Jack, but I don't like how, I don't like the taste of Monterey Jack by itself. And I wanted to have a snacking cheese too. So I'm gonna use that and snack on it. Banza spaghetti, it's the chickpea pasta. And we're gonna use that to make our pasta with the clams and mussels tonight. I just heard the clams make a weird noise. I need to get them back into the fridge. So also we've got some fire roasted tomatoes, black beans and pinto beans. And those are gonna be for the huevos rancheros. Some z gallon bags. I recommend that you look at the price of all that kind of thing online first and take a picture of the one that you're gonna buy so you can just grab it when you get to the store and not have to re-figure out you know, what the best price was. Two kombuchas. Uh, the California citrus is really good if you like kind of like a vanilla flavor. So that's the one I'm going to have this week. And then the Pinot Grigio is to make that pasta that I mentioned for tonight. And then I've got some frozen fruit and it's peaches, pineapple, bananas, and mangoes. I've been liking trying some different fruits in my smoothies. I can't have berries, unfortunately. So I thought this looked pretty good. So we'll see how that is. I'm excited to try that. We've got parsley and cilantro just for our various recipes. Two apples, a gala and a Fuji, and that's just to eat with peanut butter as a snack. Three plums right here. So we're gonna make a new salad this week. And plums, I haven't had them in so long. When I was a kid, plums were like one of my favorite fruit. So I totally forgot about them. And then I saw this salad recipe. We're gonna do it for one of our starter salads that we have. So I'm super excited to have those. Kiwis for my smoothies, cucumber, one thing I do recommend when getting cucumber is try to get the skinniest one that there is. There's less seeds and it. it just tastes better. I know a lot of people like those mini cucumbers, but they're just too expensive and I don't want to like those more and then want to have to get those every time. So just get a skinny one and it's really good that way. So radishes for our salads, avocado, I'm, we're going to have that with the huevos rancheros. Zucchini, we are having two recipes with zucchini. We are having a the soup the meatball soup that we're having with that pork and then also we're going to make zucchini fritters which we've never had before so my boyfriend used to really not like zucchini and then lately he's been kind of being okay with it so i'm testing the limits a little bit this week and we'll see what he thinks about these zucchini fritters i'm hoping he likes them because i like zucchini a lot so i'd like to be able to have it more lemons obviously just for water for dressings for recipes what have you Broccoli, we're going to use that as a side with one of our meals. The butter lettuce, that goes with the plum salad that I was talking about. I've actually never bought this before and this was on sale this week, so it worked out perfect. Big thing of spinach, we need it for a couple different recipes we're making this week. It goes in and then also I'm going to use it for my smoothies and we'll probably use it for some salads. Cauliflower, that's going to be for the soup that we're having. Bell pepper, two reds and a yellow. I did not buy organic this time because we needed three. 
and granted organic is just so much more expensive i know they say it's on the dirty dozen or whatever but i don't even know if i buy the whole dirty dozen thing so no organic bell peppers for us this week but these look better than the organic ones anyways so i'm fine with it and then onions just for various recipes and sometimes we'll use the red onions and salads the shallots for the pasta we're having tonight and another recipe called for it as well Russet potatoes, this is, we're gonna make potato wedges for a side with one of our dinners. Sweet potatoes for my boyfriend to have with his lunch. Green onions, since my boyfriend really doesn't like cilantro, which I don't, I don't understand how, but I know some people just really don't like it. So I'll either get him green onions or parsley when I'm having cilantro. So he's gonna have green onions this week when I get to enjoy the, the cilantro, which really I think makes like a lot of the dishes but I mean if he doesn't like it whatever so let's see jalapenos that's also going to be for the huevos rancheros I think I got everything right I believe I did all right we'll be back with the Whole Foods haul here is everything we got from Whole Foods so starting with the meats over here we've got Three packs of chicken, one's for my boyfriend to meal prep and have throughout the week. One is for a Thai chicken pizza, and one is for some kebabs. Steak, that's the special weekend lunch that my boyfriend has. Turkey burgers, he preps those and has those for lunch throughout the week. Uh, ground beef is for our, our little stir fry that we're gonna make. Almond milk for our smoothies. We got two waters back there because they're the spring waters that taste really good. We got them last week. They're on sale again. Spindrift was on sale again. Gotta have them. Champagne vinegar. So the plum salad recipe I was talking about this week calls for this. And we've actually never had this kind of vinegar here at the house before. And it's just, I figured we could have it, you know, for other different salads. And it would just be kind of a way to mix it up a little bit. So I'm excited to try Another kombucha, Olipops, they were on sale again. Some tuna, so we're gonna make some tuna meatballs. We got two of the albacore and one skipjack, and we really like the Wild Planet brand. Almond butter for smoothies. The Banza pizza crust is really good. That's for our Thai chicken pizza. I recommend trying this because it's a little bit healthier and it tastes good. Let's see here, we've got mozzarella, that's also for our pizza. Dijon mustard, we use it in recipes and to make salad dressing and to put on turkey burgers. Plain yogurt, we have a couple different recipes where we need to make a sauce, like a tzatziki or other kind of uh, garlic yogurt sauce. Corn tortillas, these are gonna be for our Huevos Rancheros, and the reason why I like these is that the only ingredients that they have is organic corn and water and lime, and they're cheap. Feta cheese, we need that to make the, I think it's for the zucchini fritters, definitely for one of our recipes, I believe that's what it's for. Eggs, these are the organic pasture raised, these are a good price, so uh, I, I noticed Whole Foods actually tends to have the best price on higher quality eggs. Avocado chunks for smoothies, berries for my boyfriend's smoothie, dill to put in with the, some of the Greek yogurt for one of the sauces, tomatoes for various recipes, huevos rancheros, etc. A mango for a snack. Mushrooms, we normally get the brown mushrooms, but I guess they were out this week. My boyfriend grabbed these, but that's okay. And let's see what else we've got. I think that's for our pork soup, pork meatball soup. Mung bean, these are going to go on our Thai chicken pizza. Kale and fennel. The fennel is for the plum salad. It's a, actually a plum and fennel salad. Kale for smoothies. Power greens for smoothies. Bananas for smoothies and snacking. And these, my boyfriend, I'm assuming, got for snacking. This is kind of cool. Follow your heart, hippie organics. It's kind of fun. So let's see, did I miss anything here? I didn't think so. So here's what we got. As usual, I'll come back and make a what we had for dinner this week video to show you how we used all these ingredients. 
here are our receipts for this week. We ended at about 290 some and uh, you know, kind of how it is lately. Uh, H-E-B really nothing stood out too much. The clams and the mussels were the biggest expense and you know for seafood it ended up about what $18 so $19 not too bad. Whole Foods, the Banza crust but it was on sale so what was that like six bucks something like that not too too bad and it comes with two. The champagne vinegar was a bit expensive. I'm hoping we're really gonna like that. Otherwise than that, it was kind of just our usual suspects, the chicken, turkey burgers, almond butter, berries, that sort of thing. So nothing too, too, too crazy, but I guess that's inflation for you. That's all I've got for y'all today. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a comment and I hope you have a wonderful day.